Hello, in this video, I'm gonna describe what an NFT is. In my last video, I went over how to create and list an NFT, but I realized I never really explained what an NFT is, and uh, I realized some of you might be asking that question and might be confused by the last video. So uh, I wanted to talk about what an, F an NFT is. Uh, this should be real quick. Um, so. It, actually, what NFT stands for is non-fungible token. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense on its own, probably. But uh, if you break it down, non-fungible actually means unique. So each NFT should be a one-of-a-kind type thing. Although there's actually ways to make more than one and you know sell it as a limited series of them. But that's kind of beyond the scope of this. So for all intents and purposes, it is a one-of-a-kind item that you buy when you buy an nft it should be um, and then the token part kind of means there's a record of it um, so that's what uh, nft kind of stands for um, and really what it means and uh, a little bit more of an explanation i took this right from uh, a verge uh, article which is a link to that'll be in the description if you want to check it out it's actually a pretty good article that goes over all really in depth about what an nft is um, and so you know, I'll just kind of uh, paraphrase what they, they said there is that, so it's a digital file that is actually added to the blockchain. Uh, typically Ethereum is used, but doesn't have to be. Um, in my last video, I actually showed you how to upload it to a non-Ethereum um, blockchain, which was Solana. And, uh, but most of them are on Ethereum, uh, which is a cryptocurrency, kind of like Bitcoin or any other coin and it, which lives on the blockchain. Uh, it just so happens that Ethereum and a couple other um, cryptocurrencies support NFTs, uh, which means you can store extra information that um, you know makes it a little bit different than just say a, a standard coin that you might have. Um, yeah, and so that's kind of what, what it is. It's something you can upload to uh, the blockchain basically and sell it and then someone then then there's record of it on the on that blockchain um you know I, I note down here that sure anyone could potentially just this is an nft that actually sold for uh, a lot of money i think like six million dollars um anyone could really just right click on that image um save it to their desktop or screenshot it whatever um but the what's supposed to be the added thing that you get when you buy it from the NFT, um, buy it as an NFT are ownership rights, which are recorded you know, on the blockchain. And the you know kind of the, the good uh, analogy that you hear a lot is it's kind of similar to owning the original of a like a hard copy like a Monet, a Monet or Van Gogh. Um, sure, there's many reproductions of that original that exists, but you can say you own the original. Um, the reproduction might be very cheap, but the original still would be a lot of money. And that's kind of um, what the ownership of the NFT is compared to. Um, so <clears throat> another thing worth uh, kind of pointing out is talking about what form an NFT can take. So most of the ones that you hear about in the news and have seen are typically um, image files, um, graphics or, or images that were created by individuals um, but they could be anything there's some bands have put out um, songs as nfts um, it could be a video there's uh, i know famously a video sold of a lebron james slam dunk um, it could be a gif uh, could be any digital file um, yeah and and uh, you know, typically the ones that have been selling well are um, under uh, the category of digital art you know, like here's another example. Someone created this using probably like Photoshop or, you know, um, Procreate or one of those uh, type of creative apps. Um, this one's kind of famous because it was supposed to sell for $300,000. Um, but when the individual listed it, they kind of messed up a decimal point and it only sold for $3,000. Um, so be careful. Um, and so... Yeah, and on that point of creating them, uh, I want to point out because I know in my video last time I talked about creating an NFT 
and really was alluding to the term that's used by you know, uh, the, the sites like this is SoulSea, OpenSea was one I talked about as well. Um, they call it creating, you can click the little create button on the website, but really what create means to them and what I was talking about in the last video is uploading them. Uh, creating an NFT is a whole different process, usually a creative process, um, using some kind of image manipulation app. And you know, here's uh, a, an example of someone using Procreate to uh, draw something, um, but it could be a, a, a something you took a photo of, or like I said, video, it could be any digital thing. Um, and so I just want to point out that difference that you'll, you'll see the term create what that really means when you're on the website is actually, and you're actually, um, uploading it to, um, a, a portal that's going to house your NFT. Um, so you know, create and listing kind of go hand in hand. Um, and then there's also the create that refers to the creative process of making it. So. I think that's it. I think I covered everything I wanted to do. I'm sure we could talk about this um, for a long time, but um, at a high level, that's what an NFT is. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks.